you are on. Push the button. The mic is on. Yeah, that, that threw me off. The button? Yeah. Well, you get these little tabs inside too. So you can just pull it open, reach inside, and close those tabs in. I'm not the kind of guy that doesn't look for the instructions, but until then, they're on there. It's like one, do that. Two, do this other thing, and then three, you got a third thing that you do. There you go. Go right to you. They hired an engineer. Oh, inventor's fair. That seems yeah. good. Insert as one of an infinity list, I would imagine. Pac Man. There we go. Mecha Pac Man. All right. Dove and Bond. <laughs> I don't really know the guy in the story, but flavorfully, I like him. He looks like a... I don't know. Well, I know him from one story I've read online. Alright, here we go. I might be going to white red artifact diagram. Here you go. Bridge, Adrian Theorist, Fireside Infiltrator, Skyscraper, Ornamental Coverage, Fortuitous Find, Fakata Pillarbug, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. Pima Outrider, Workshop Assistant. That's a good card. This looks like a pretty good limited pack. Absolutely. Underhand Designs, and Work of Whirler Virtuoso. And Mall Fist Doorbuster. I got a lot of work out of him last time. Okay. And then eliminate the competition. As an additional cast of cost, uh, sacrifice X creatures, destroy X target creatures. Trade your weakest creature for the Disney's stars. challenge. Oh. Cards your library, exile the two creature cards from among them, then shuffle your library. Target opponent may choose one of the exiled cards put onto the battlefield and control the rest on the battlefield under my control. I mean, it's pretty useless, but that's a beautiful foil. Yeah. You know, it's like a, a slow poker. Is that better? So, you look at the top 10 cards, and only, like, you get two of them, your opponent gets one, so usually they get the stronger one, and then you get the weaker one. There are ways to make it where that isn't the case, this is like if you take control of their creature afterwards, but for the most part, yeah, it's it's not good. There's Because they get the better creature. Turtle. Turtle, turtle. Grubs. Hawk. Blade Master. He's a wanderer. He yeah. doesn't know where he's at. Okay. Drake. Automaton. Screecher. Puzzle Knot. Blossoming Defense. Essence Extraction. Actual Time Piece. Aether Flux yes. Reservoir. Elegant Edge Crafters. I feel like they want me to play Green. I get that sensation too. Which one is that? That's the Uncommon Fabricate 2. Okay. So two servos. Yeah. And um, can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. You're doing well. And that one's playable. Just can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. Mm -hmm. Rip creatures power two or less. I think he's got a foil so far. Keep it running, keep it rolling. Fragmatize, great card. He's literally fighting mm -hmm. Kujar Seed Sculptor. Yep. You get a plus one, plus one counter, a target creature control. That's not bad for a two drop. That's right. Um, ambitious uh, Etherborn. He's got a Fabricate One, it's five drop. Rush of Vitality. Target creature gets plus one in games, likely getting destructible until end of turn. That's nice. What was the, what was the Shadows version? Uh, off the top, uh, not Touch of Moonglove, was it? No, that was an Origins card. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll find it in a second. That seems like a better version of that. Yeah. <clears throat> World Fast Monitor. Three drop means he gets menace until end of turn. K1 red. Mm -hmm. Welding sparks deals X damage to target creature. X is three, is, is three plus a number of artifacts you control. Seems good. Speed. Larger than life. Yes. That's a uh, target creature gets plus four plus four and gains trample until end of turn. It is sorcery speed, and but sorcery speed, yeah. it's a trick. It's a trample. Yeah. How does that, how does that uh, relate to like Mindable Corosa? Uh, it costs this m one more mana, but it doesn't give trample and is sorcery. Although, usually, Mindable Corosa might as well be sorcery speed anyway, because the plus four plus four is only when it's casting your main base. Yeah. yeah. Bastion Mastodon. Okay, one uh, 
One white, that means vigilance. Mm-hmm. End of turn, revoke privileges. Enchant creature. Enchant creature can't attack, block, or crew. Super good. I underestimated that card. Long Tusk Cub. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you get two energy. <coughs> and you can pay two energy, put one one counters on it. Stay. Trusty Companion gets vigilance. And can't attack alone. Snare Thopter, flying in haste. That seems reasonable. I don't see any vehicle. Oh! Spider Bluff Canal. And yet another foily. Pillar Bob. Uh, yeah, Pillar Bob, nice. Gonna run the mono foil deck. Yeah. That sounds like a good problem to have. Gotta find a vehicle here somewhere. Alright. So, uh, Nimble Innovator. You know what else we're playing against the vehicles? Yeah. Unless it was that 6 1 trampler. It really turned into a trap for them. Yeah. Because it's kind of, it's just sitting there. That's and if you only have two creatures in the battlefield, and I've got four, That's you have good. to you have to tap one of them. And I've got two creatures in the battlefield with men's for a chance. Ooh. Perhaps, you know. And there's not much they could do. Nimble in the vac- Innovator. Them are super Hijack. Good. Yeah. That's an interesting yeah. card. Appetite of the Natural. Night Market Lookout. Mm-hmm. Whenever it becomes tapped, you gain a life. And they lose a life. Gear Seeker Serpent. Console at Skygate. Commencement of Festivities. Yep. Impeccable timing. How, how do you do this? Do you do it like this? Something like that, yeah. Turn you go close. You see what they see. Really? Mm hmm. Okay. I can't see it at all. Oh, t- yeah, a tiny little screen. But... Okay. Sorry. Uh, Fire Forger's Puzzle Knot. Curio Vendor. Yeah. Engineer Knight. It's a 5 drop. It's a uh, card creature with plus, plus, plus 5 plus 5 and trample in the turn. More creatures you control get plus 2 plus 2 and vigilance until the turn. Sorcery speed. Hmm. Incendiary, incendiary sabotage. It's an additional cost. Cast sabotage. Sacrifice an artifact. It deals three damage to, tar- to each creature. Yep, each. Oh, each creature. That's pretty good. You got durable handicraft. It's a two drop enchantment. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you, put, you pay one. If you do, put a one one uh, counter on that creature. Sacrifice it, put a 1 1 counter on each creature you control. You have to pay 6. That is a bomb. That is a bomb. Another dubious challenge. Wow. Uh oh. No problems. Not this time. Dubious challenge. It's too long. It's no fun at all. I'm sure there are ways to make that card good, but. Uh, it's tough. Alright, here we go. Select for inspection. Hijack again. Sage of Ch- Three energy, yeah. Sage of three energy. Yeah, that works. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. Live fast. Welding sparks. Larger than life. Bastion Mastodon. Revoke privileges. Renegade tactics. That's a good card. Mm-hmm. One drop target creature can't block this turn. Draw card. Yeah. Got some work out of that. Self assembler. Uh, enters the battlefield. You search for another one. Put it in your hand. Uh, I only uh, six packs. I only had one in the last draft. So. Ensign extraction. Three drop. Does three damage target creature and I gain three life. Is that a reprint? I think it is. Yeah. Uh, Oval chase uh, dragster. That gets a lot of work right there. It's a four drop burn spell. Basically, pretty much. Yeah. And disappearing act. An additional cost to cast. Return a property control to the two owner's hands. Counter target spell. And then confiscation Q, five drop, two target artifact or creature, you get four energy, and you get pain. Pain amount of energy equal to that permanence converted mana cost if you do gain control of it. That's uh, obviously a very good card. Take one of their creatures. Uh, in the last Dovin Bond, Terror of the Fairgrounds. Appropriately named. Thriving Ibix? Ibix? I, I bet. I don't know. Sage of Three Energy. Fortuitous Find. Love it. Bastion Mastodon. Welding Sparks. Cog Worker's Puzzle Knot. Inventor's Goggles. Oh, to your larger than life. Revoke privileges again. Nature's way. Target creature you control gains vigilance and trample until the end of turn. It deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control. 
Yeah. It's not fight, it's just one yeah. way. That's oh, good. No, no, no. Iron League Steed, Haste, Four Drunk, Fabricate One. There's only two two. Mm -hmm. so that's kind of a bummer. Aether Meltdown, Flash, uh, Enchant Creature Vehicle against minus four, minus zero. I had that used against me last turn. And then Electrostatic Pummeler. And there's the battlefield. I get three energy. Pay three energy, and Pummeler gets plus X plus X until end of turn where X is its power. It's, it's actually good if you have enough energy. I forgot that that was a rare actually. Like, energy producers. Well, it, so there, are, if you can make that thing huge with something like larger than life, yeah, you know, no, that's fair. suddenly it turns into a 10 10 trample, yeah. that sort of thing. But, I don't know. Sacrifice, search your library for an artifact card to build in your hand, and shuffle your own library. I don't think it's the only control for your more artifacts. I mean, there's very little opportunity cost to running it, so usually you just you might as well. It doesn't come in tapped, it gains you a bit of life. That's it. If you have uh, three or more artifacts, you gain oh, one life. That's nice. And then, what is it? If you have three or more. You can so search for another artifact. There we go. Sack so it, search. I don't know how you, how you do it. This is how I do it. Yeah, so I do basically what you're doing, but face down. Oh, dear. Because I, I don't know. It, I guess that's the technically like correct way of doing it if you want to make sure people don't see what you're running. But it doesn't matter here, I guess. I feel like this is going to be possibly green white. I, can, I got a sense for a lot of green in the second color. I'm gonna go anyway here. Essence extraction is a great removal spell, but because it has black black instead of two in black, there's a lot of artifacts too. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing green white show up here. Could be green blue as well. Yeah. Fragmentize is good. Mm hmm. Fragmentize <laughs> is great in this format. But also, artifacts would be something to consider because there's a lot of them. Yeah, so if you have so much in one color, you can I, I just go monocolored and then not have to worry or, about color uh, consistency issues. Yeah. Uh, and with that much green, you might be able to get away with it. Go green and artifacts? It, yeah, green and Wobbies. artifacts. Although if you're doing something like that, you usually need something like uh, a foundry inspector. Something like that. Green is definitely by far. Oh yeah. And then obviously. So the green puzzle knot, that's the one that gains you three life and gives you three energy. Uh, another thing you can do is like look to see where all of your energy sinks are, if you have any. Um, you pulled the land and the virtuoso. That's interesting. Just because they're the same color. That's all. I don't think it's worth it, but it's not cool. So it gains, gains life link until you turn. That's okay, but I don't know. That will make the cut. Seven for a six eight or two, you know, five seven and a one one. I gotta cut one card. Start your engines. If you have enough, 
So, I, do, I, I wasn't kidding actually, I think with as many counters as you can put on things, and you're larger to life, larger than life, the pummeler may actually just be, like normally I don't like that card, but giving him extra power so that you can double it, and having trample, seems pretty good, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, it's just a three mana one one that can be a two two one time. That's not. That's not what he's part of. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Want me to get him out? Three has to die. Yeah. They get vigilance for five mana, and it's a four four. Is it? It's a four five. Yeah. I mean, if you did the white splash, they can make it in. But otherwise, no. Accomplish automaton. Hold on to that for a second. Yes. I don't think I, I don't see myself in black. Yeah. I don't see myself in red. I agree. Yeah. yeah. That's good because I can get mm -hmm. get something back. Uh, that's good just because it, it does work. Yeah. And then I think the flying in haste is a good, is a good keeper. No, it is four mana for. Is it a three two flying haste? Three two flying haste. So basically, you pay four mana for Eclipse Delver. Yeah. I think. Um, if you're going to go monocolor, yes. Yes. That's what I'm looking at. Yeah. Okay. Do not make a deck of the bridge one you made a few hours ago. I got a place in a while. Trample and fabricate. Oh, yeah. The green four drop. Dewey's challenge, right? We're, we're excited that that's not really going to. I can't see how that goes well for you, to be honest. If I may, for just a quick sure. sec. I'm trying to think of how this could do anything in sealed. Double my both privileges for Yes. Oh, yes. If you're, even if you're just one color, if you're two color, obviously, because it gets your other color in a basic, but even otherwise, it's still red and then it can. Long Tusk is a good idea. I guess you do have an Appetite for a natural it is actually really good. Because it does deal, uh, I gain two life and... At worst, it's a sideboard card. Yeah. And it kills so much in the format. Uh, not commencement. Not for what you're doing here. It's hard to play Fog. You, you may be able to get away with that. Like if they swing for lethal, you say no and then swing back. Um, it's definitely going in. So yes, 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 that's a bomb. Yeah, dubious challenge. Mm -hmm. dubious. Larger than life. And then here you go. These are my other two drops. I got three larger than life. So two ones for two that make three energy and give you another use off the pummeler. And what else do you have that really uses energy aside from the pummeler? Uh, does the, the long tusk come? Well, these, 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 um, yes, it does too. Okay. So I've got four so energy cards. I'm surprised I didn't see any of the one drop screen. Yeah. To come in and let you dig for a land. Those are good and give you two and those are actually pretty good. I think you can take out the self assembler since there isn't another one. And if you're just getting a five or a five mana four four. Yeah. Three larger than one. Very nice. Very nice. That nature's way is good. I like that. Mm -hmm. So if you took every single card in here, we're talking what, 5, 7, 12, 14, 18, 22, and then you could do 18 lands, or you could throw in like, because you're monocolor, I guess you can get away with having, yeah, fewer, fewer lands than 18. 18 is like the top of where you'd want to be. That's like 26 lands in a 60 card deck. Okay, so I can maybe revisit some of this stuff. Yeah. Do this challenge now. Potential. Maybe, yeah, maybe for a nice little trip. And these things that aren't even yeah. the color. Uh, oh, oh, got the artifacts just to look at. Yeah, so of the of the cards in here, you aren't artificers, you aren't. Yeah. Oh, that's a druid. I'm looking for artificers because that's what that will benefit. Bless you. Thank you. That, that's interesting. So gain three life, free energy, do it again. So basically gain six life. Yeah. So there's one artificer. Is that going to be the only artificer in here? I, 
you have two. Elegant Edge Crafter and the Outrider. And those are the ones that the goggles benefit the most, right? I think, if I remember the card correctly, it's Equip Creature gets plus and plus two, and then when an Artificer enters. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then just auto attach it. I think that's a plus me at 24. I actually think you could run that anyway, even if you don't have too many artificers, just because it's a one drop play that you don't have any parts. Yeah. Or you can just pull it with it. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Now they're creatures. That's interesting. Perpetual time piece. I don't remember that one. But the top two cards, so mill yourself, two, and then exile at shuffle any number of target cards. Okay, so we're not doing any graveyard abuse in here, but it keeps you from milling yourself out. Milling yourself out, or if you got something that you really want back, I guess it, yeah. it's not going to be probably not, it's probably too slow. Yeah, a sideboard card maybe, against, like, if there is a mill deck in here. Maybe. Yes, 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 yes. Just life gain with pretty low opportunity cost. You're not going to ever actually kill someone with it, but... You know, gaining 10 life over the course of the game, even in sealed, can be pretty good. 14. Uh, well, I take that back. It may be better to have a land than to have another reservoir. Uh, or the, the Puzzle Knot maybe isn't enough. Either the reservoir, the Puzzle Knot, or both. That, that's on you. That's on you. Okay, th this is going to be... But I see what you're saying, because it's something like this. Mm -hmm. So this does have the life gain. This guy into that right there. That's right. The goggles would do some stuff and maybe help me keep a creature on the field. That's right. Keep, keep her away from spot removal, right? It's a, it's a pump spell for one creature and then the next and then the next. Okay, so yeah, I think we'll... And you could legit just go 16 forest here. I'll go with that. I think I'll get. Yeah, so, uh, so, that's about the equivalent of running like 22 lands in a 60 card deck. So 25. It's 22, 23. 22 and a half lands. So it goes, goes 16 and you can go one up, go to 41. You think? Yeah, um, I, I'm not really ever a fan of going to more than you have to in a format like this, but you could. I mean, the difference between 40 and 41 isn't that drastic for probability, and it means you'll never lose to just a 1-1-1-1-1 one, 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 one mill out. This, yeah, the, this, this, the goggles are really starting to see the benefits too. Mm -hmm. and and that. you have the Inventor's Fair, so, you know, that's, once you get three artifacts in a deck with, what are we talking here, five, seven, nine artifacts, that can definitely happen. I just don't, I don't feel like I really have a bomb. No, you, I guess you really don't. You have a, a combo, not really much of a... I mean, where was it? Uh, oh, you said Maps like this, right? Oh, yeah, probably not. Uh, not that one, that's not the one I meant. Uh, there we go, The handy, that's your bomb. Okay, yeah. so this is what we decided not to play. Yeah, sideboard maybe. Yeah. So we're really at 16 again. Yeah. Um, because this one makes all of your creatures bigger after it comes out, and it can throw down more counters. Um, it doesn't have... I abused it with the animation module, but even without, you know, it's still good. It's still really good. So, for board control, my game. Yep. For... I wouldn't normally yeah, yeah. I wouldn't normally want to play Appetite, but in a format with this many artifacts. Yeah, it yeah. did work for me the last one. And you were about to talk about the ornamental court courage? Yeah, it was just a good amount of tricks or yeah. Yeah. giving your creature or your end, I think, when it, when it needs it most is probably a good idea too. If nothing else, surprise blocker. Yeah. Because like, it untaps. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a Billy Mays commercial, you know. 
plus one, it, plus one power, but wait, plus three power, but more toughness, but wait, it also untaps. How much is this going for? For the previous one? Oh, it's too early to say. I, let's see how well it picks up in Affinity and Modern. I think that'll be the determining factor. You know, but legit. And there's Robert there who can testify. Hey, Robert. Testify, Robert. In Venture's Fair and Affinity. Yeah. Yep. There we go. There's your, uh, there's your uh, expert witness. <laughs> the only person in the store that plays Affinity. <laughs> I mean, I think that'll actually make the pre-release promo go up disproportionately, though, because it's a modern card. And if I know anything about modern Modern players, you know. They like their swag. They like their swag. <laughs> Legacy players. Uh, swag, except, you know, I'll get my revised dual lands. So, let's see, 7 out of 20. That means you have a 35% chance, or 35% of your deck is creatures. I think that's fine, unless you're just running against the most removal heavy decks on the other side. Which I guess is possible. For sideboard options, I mean, I can always flash another color. Yeah, you could do a quick white uh, for certain cards in there. Not a lot of white, but I mean, you do have the... You have Fragmentize, you have... Control's good to drop, and Control lose the battlefield. Maybe. Uh, uh, Atrial Hawk, nice one-two flyer. That's, that's good. That's <laughs> nice. Fragmentize, awesome. Oh, yeah? Provoke yeah. Fragmentize yeah. is good. So maybe I'll... That's good. Damage to her. If you need more removal, she can't get in. She said she was unhappy. Another she was unhappy. So I'm feeling if I need to... I do not know. Yeah, you pulled three of those. Right. Right. So maybe I'll have a white side for yep. component and I'll bring in a different rather than Bell for Sharks. I'll have maybe some uh, I can see that. Like, if you need more, like, controlling game, you could go into white for revokes, for fragmentize, for. Um, I'm just gonna really quickly. There, there was a, a multicolor card you had around here somewhere. So around here, there we go. I mean, obviously that's a big, yeah. Yeah. A big game changer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Give it a shot. Yeah. So, so we do that seven drop. Thank you. That's that's a bomb, I guess. Yeah. That's a seven mana six eight. Often. And also, whenever a creature enters, not whenever a non-token creature enters. So if you use, if you play that guy, and or if you play any of your fabricate cre uh, creatures and make a token with it, you can trigger that twice. Once on the regular and once on yeah. So, as long as you have the mana, it's great. Great! Uh, no particular order. Uh, Blossom Defense is a one drop instant, gives you 2 plus 2 and hex proof until end of turn. That did a little bit of work, definitely. That was definitely not. There's not I didn't have enough going on to really play the, that in a different deck. Where there's more energy consumption, it probably would have been great. Yeah. Larger than life. Was was definitely a thing. It's at sorcery speed, mm -hmm. so it does it gives them opportunity to uh, counter. But I had the blossoming defense too. So at times that these two go hand in hand, play that first, and then when they do some kind of trickery, do that one. I like it. They're good. Nature's way also did some work there. So uh, if I had enough mana at that point, I'd just kill something because that's what you do with that particular card. So, uh, the mana worked every time. So it's just green. One okay. color that'll do it. Yeah. Probably the MVP. Base of course, yeah. yes. <laughs> uh, Long Test Cup, I got that out once. It was quickly killed. Mm. Um, I got that in the play twice. And it it the helped. Seed Soap? Yeah. It yeah. came in, put the 1 1 counter on it, and um, basically it helped for a turn or so keep the, you know, at least keep something bigger from coming out.
now. Uh, Snare Thopter, I never saw, never saw play. Inventor's Fair uh, did work great work in my first match. Uh, that coupled with the Aether Flux Reserve, yep, and had a bunch of artifacts out. I, I was gaining a lot of uh, a lot of life, uh, especially this Aether, Aether Flux in like by turn four, five, six, by turn five or six, you, where you have a lot of one drops, two drops that you can play. Yep. They were stacking pretty quick where I was getting uh, you know, one life, two life, and three more life. That happened uh, a couple times. Nice. Uh, again, larger in life, great. Uh, never got that accomplished automaton out. Just never got the mana for it, or uh, just didn't show up? Didn't have the mana for it, so it did show up. Actually, in both games, just never got the mana for it. Um, and then by the time in the first match, I, I had it, but I didn't need it. So. Uh, workshop Assistant is always good, especially if you're playing a lot of artifacts, because they kill something and come right back. Uh, the goggles did a lot of work in the first match. Definitely did good. Didn't see it in the second match. Uh, saw that in the second match. Turn two, and then I got uh, mana starved, and uh, I had the, the second uh, game of the first match, right? Uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of oh, combining okay. all my matches into one super match. That'll work. If that makes sense. So, but I'll just go over basically as a an overall how the cards did in, okay. in the matches. Um, Skygate does a little bit of work. It's Defender with Reach, 0 4. It's pretty, for a 2 drop, it's pretty good. Uh, that If you can get that out, it's basically a 4 drop, 6 you know, burn spell. If they can get enough in front of you, it blocks them a bit and it takes care of their creatures. It's a ball of lightning, but you gotta watch for first strike, right? Yes, absolutely. Elegant Edge Crafters, I did not play as of yet. Appetite for the Unnatural is great in this format because there are a lot of artifacts. And oh, yeah. It takes care of a lot of stuff. Um, the Wild Wanderer does a great job thinning the deck, giving you that extra land drop. Iron League Steed does well too. If you just want a 3-3 three, three in turn uh, turn four, or if you, need, you want to get two artifacts out um, in order to maybe get that uh, Inventor's Fair. Yeah, the Inventor's Fair active, that's a, that's a good option. Uh, again, uh, Sage of uh, Three Energy. Did, uh, it comes out turn two the two one for two, uh, but in this particular build it didn't really get much because it didn't have enough. Yeah. I mean, I, in, in both my matches, I, I had the energy and sat there and did nothing because I never got anything to use it. If, what, if that cub ever shows up, then that'll yes. be great. But until then, um, but there's just not enough synergy for yeah. the energy in this particular uh, build. Uh, ornamental yeah. courage, great card. Yep. Uh, plus one plus three gives your creature a fat butt. Basically gets you out of a bunch of different um, spot removal range. So it did a great job for me. I have not played Electrostatic Pummeler yet. No, but I want to do the combo. It would be awesome. Yep. And then again, my lands, you did a great job. Mm -hmm. And then the Prima Outrider uh, Fabricate one. So it's a four, four turn four basically or get the extra artifact out you know it worked really well like i said earlier it was kind of i felt like it was kind of a vanilla build but, uh, it was it was for the most part pretty consistent when you're playing up against real seasoned players who build maybe a little more aggressively or had better points yeah, it, was, it was definitely a little rough uh, i never got a chance to use the white sideboard not yet not yet I could have and probably should have on my, my last match, but honestly, I just kind of, I kind of just turned into a four-year-old girl and didn't oh. do it. So who are you? Uh, what what did you play against? In your um, first couple matches. I played against uh, red, white, blue. Was the first match. Okay. So there's a lot, there's counter and a lot of uh, spot removal from that definitely. Um, and then the second match was uh, red. Red green, okay. I think. So it was a red green build. That sounds really good. Here. I played it mine. You played it in your last one. Yeah, and it, that really is a good. If you can get enough of those cards, mm -hmm. uh, my last one was. It could have gone mono red. I had enough red red cards from. Oh yeah. From that uh, last sealed event. But I splashed green because I had some good value cards in that too. So I testify. That's on my. Uh, that's on my previous video. And then I had just valuable, um, just too valuable not to play uh, artifacts. So it worked pretty well. It was a lot of fun. Thank you for your help building it. My pleasure. Well, we'll best to you on your yeah. next rounds. <laughs> <laughs> next one round. We have one round left. Oh, next one round. round left. Oh.